Welcome back, people, for the final iteration of recapping Division One Season 6 of the Grand Star Cup. I'm your host, Rerim. We have the playoffs this week. Going to be a bit of a longer video because we have to go through both semis and the finals, but you do not want to miss it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's a huge play. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The matchups that we have today are XI versus 2S on one side and IF versus SC on the other. The first match we're going to be going over is XI versus 2S. Now, XI is the clear front runner. They have won Division I the past two seasons, so they're back to back champions. They had a pretty successful season this time around, only losing to SE. They went 8-1 and one and 1, had a mutual tie versus heaven that didn't affect the rankings. So only one loss the entire season. 2S, on the other hand, had a very strong start. They were winning a lot of their matches, and they're winning them by a lot of points. Fell off a little bit in the second half, but at that point, they were already pretty solidly in the playoffs. So they're both capable teams. Obviously, XI is the favorite, but the big story here is that 2S is trying to reschedule this match and delay it because they couldn't use their main lineup. However, both teams ended up agreeing on a time and neither of them are using their main lineup because XI is using Quinn over Faisal. Now, Quinn is a veteran player, pretty good player at that. However, notably doesn't play that many wars. He did play for WZ back in MKPS, which is a couple years ago. So he, he knows how to war, not saying he's a bad war player, but he's definitely definitely not as in practice and isn't as good as Faisal. Faisal's been warring consistently for the past few years. Quinn has not. And also because he's not played that actively with XI, there's probably a little bit less chemistry between him and the other players. When you play with people for long enough, you kind of are able to recognize what they're going to do, what type of plays they make, what tracks they're good at, etc. So the other runners are going to be more comfortable playing with Faisal as compared to Quinn. Now, with all that said, like I said, Quinn is still capable and a good player, and it's still XI. But it should be noted that this is definitely not their strongest lineup. Now, on the other side, 2S is using Zach, Chi, and Claw as their three main runners, and then they have Hicks and Dane as a fourth runner and Bop bagging, so they have their bagger. Now, I think they would want to use Fred over uh, either Dane or Chi in most scenarios. However, Fred didn't really even play that many matches. He didn't play every match for them in the regular season, but I am assuming that he would want to be in their main lineup, and I do think he is a better war player over Dane or Chi. But I don't think that this is big of an impact as Quinn over Faisal is because they have ran different lineups with these combinations of players before. But I'm assuming that's not the lineup that they wanted to use for these final important matches. So neither team in peak performance, so it kind of evens out a bit. And we'll jump into the first war, 2S versus XI. And we're starting off first race of the semis, Fox POV for XI versus 2S. Waited a long time to get here, but we get here up to Sherbet Land, race one. Fox's lines, may I say, looking extremely crisp. Swerving around with this green, he sees a couple 2S people behind him. Hits one. Fib doesn't quite connect. It looks pretty decent, but uh, Chi, who is Coco, goldened up, it looks like. Or triple shroomed up, maybe. Fox has to slow down to avoid that green. Probably could have just escaped it driving normally. Back green from Chi hits his own teammate, unfortunately. And then kind of a weird interaction here. So it looks like Chi was going wide to get the box, and then he didn't at the last second. So he gets redded for it. Um, and... Fox and Xander take over top two, and they actually end up running. Barney was in third with them. Xander, I think, got blued. And they end up just running it. No shock. Uh, nobody shrimming up to catch up to them. And XI gets their DK Mountain track pick, which is deadly. Barney, unfortunately, taking both boxes. Probably a little bit of lag. And then Fox not backing on the shortcut when it's clearly two S members behind him. Could have been an accident, but uh, in order to throw your item forward if you're trailing a banana or a fib you have to be like actually holding forward on the control stick if you're holding neutral or behind you or left or straight left or right it just gets backed in your line but either way 
Fox hits the wall, gets owned for it, drops back a little bit. XI still in 1-3-4, and he pulled a Golden, so he was in a prime position to Golden up, but 2S uses a pretty nice shock, shocking a lot of them on bridge. Very unpredictable, usually you're just predicting the cannon shock there. But Pix gets into first, Zach is also up there, and Barney is still holding down the fort up there. Xi pulls a blue. Zach looks like he fails a little bit. And if you look at the mini map, the guy who lands from cut is picks, and he actually dodges the blue. So it's going to be a very close finish at the end. Barney's still in second. Looks like he's going to comfortably be able to get that. And Kai in third. Quinn builds up at the end, and he actually does pass Bo at the line. They get two, three, five, six out of it. So even though two SU shock uh, wasn't quite the winning race that they had hoped for, but they do get their dry dry ruins track pick. Hicks fails the sand hop in first though, and Fox pulls a mega, forced to use it from this rider, and he can schlag a little bit here. Unfortunately, doesn't hit anybody. And this allows Barney and Quinn to break away in top two a little bit. Hicks is still failing, unfortunately. And if you look at the mini map, Kai, who's in third, hits the uh, cactus on the sand hop, but I think Pam ended up uh, taking Golden Ultra and getting up there. Bo is trying to pass off that TC to the XI bagger. Looks like he actually does get it off, so that will help them if they're at least able to get Jacques because Quinn's in first and Fox is holding down this blue shell, so they're not really going to be able to do anything there. Barney looks like he's passed up by Zach, and Fox shrooms up at the very end, doesn't quite pass Zach. What we see, Hicks and Kai bringing up the rear and bottom two, and Fox unfortunately DCs, so they're going to have to reset the spots. And here's the results from that race. Fox actually did pass Zach up, so there's no lag here. Even though it looked like Zach was probably gonna just, you know, be ahead of him on his screen, actually beat him. bc 3s next picked. Fox going for Ultra, and he's just kind of griefed on it. Xander does make Shroomless. Quinn fails. Looks like Barney also fails it, so... Uh, Xander's the only one up there for the majority of this race. As you can see, XI is still a lot of those bottom spots. This is an XI shot coming out. Uh, Z or, excuse me, Jazz is kind of in that frontal pack. He doesn't spin out. Chain's triple shrooms, not bad. Um, oh yeah, Dane subbed in for picks. I completely forgot to mention that. But he's chilling on Ultra. Fox gets bumped. Kind of unfortunate pull to get a bomb there with his teammate right behind him. He can't even really just make that instant back bomb play. And it looks like XI is going to get bottom two off of that shock, which is crazy that Fox doesn't take star cut there. He gets seventh off, which really stinks. Xander was gone in first the whole time. Ubu K, next track. Looks like Xander kind of got owned out of first right at the beginning, so Fox just goes. Barney gets trip greens, huge item pull. He's going to be able to get into first, apply some pressure with two more greens. Looks like one of the backspans doesn't connect. Fox goes for the, the mega cut here to maybe grief some people in the ultra. Pretty good play, but unfortunately doesn't hit Dane, and it looks like Dane's just going to be able to run away in first, maybe pick up some ground stars, maybe take some shroom buzz. Quinn takes a uh, golden cut, gets him to second. Not a lot of action up in the front. Fox takes shroom buzz, there's no blues, no shocks, no pals, no nothing. But it's all XI behind uh, Dane, who is in first. Fox throws away his nanas, lets his teammate pass him, and Fox gets tripped red, so it's gonna be tough for 2S to do anything to break up their two, three, four, five, and that's exactly what happens. They just end up finishing all behind Dane right there. Next side gets their RWS track pick. Fox does a little swervy swerve, but it is, you know, two green lines. So his bump actually does. It looks like his bump actually does mess up Dane. And he pulls a shroom second. Absolutely crackeroni and cheese start. Unfortunately, though, he just, he just messed that up quite royally. There's, that's no fault on Quinn. Um... Quinn's just taking Mega Cut there, and, and Fox is just in eighth for like the entire race after that. Could have just been running it up in first, but he literally just fails wall bounce. A crazy 2S shock TS is like literally everybody um, behind. I think Zach got into first or second or something. So 2S gets top two, Dane dodges. Yeah, they TS Barney and Quinn for sure there. Absolutely insane finish. Fortunately, we didn't really get to see it. And that was race six. XI is up about. Uh, mid 20s, low 20s, going halfway into this war here. Zach fails in first, kind of an unfortunate uh, fail because Claw's the only one to take cut, so he would have just been in second behind Claw, been able to backspam a lot of XI who's right behind him, maybe pull a shroom, put some pressure on them. Dane shrooms up instead, but he's immediately redded out, so 
Claw's gonna be able to break away in first here by quite a bit. Fox stays in second for literally like the entire race. And it's Barney in third trimming up. So Fox throws his green away. This pack is really split up. Zach does end up passing Barney there. Xander also got up there at the end. So kind of a boring race. Claw just runs it up. Fox is in second, runs it up. And XI gets their RBC track pick and Fox, or excuse me, Xander and Barney were both able to draft up and get up there. Barney throws some reds at Kai, hits him. Like I said, Xander did get into first. Didn't really get a good view of it, but I'm assuming he just got some nice draft action. Fox in second with this room. Gonna be able to at least be able to pass Xander, tank a blue for him. Except he can't because the blue's thrown so damn quickly they didn't even have any time to coordinate it. Uh, so Xander's blue. It looks like that shock gets Barney off the track on the turn. Pretty lucky for 2S to hit that little maneuver there. Kai's shroom, or excuse me, Kai dodges in Bill. Gets into first quite easily, but immediately is blued. I want to say that was Quinn's chain. I think Quinn chained a star in seventh and got a blue there and was just able to throw it at him. So it's an XI top two. Uh, MC3's next pick. Fox redded out immediately. Unfortunately, gets front redded, and now he has to deal with this completely dog shit TC battle. I hate these. Because it pretty much takes you out of the race. I mean, Dane's even more out of the race, but Fox is also pretty much in the back the entire time. Shrooms up at the very end, able to pass some people. It's a, another pretty decent race for XI, though. I mean, they get one, three, five, seven. And they got the top two last race, so they're breaking away, extending their lead to the 30s now, mid 30s. GV's pick next, so no running track for XI, but Fox finagles the golden at first set, and it was like, like sixth or seventh or something, no stop. And is able to get a pretty decent line, so he's just cruising. Quinn was in first. Kai also takes golden cut, it was a cleaner cut. Fox kind of fumbled a little bit uh, on the landing. And an early shock is used by 2S, really good from them, because it's kind of hard to tell if Fox would have a shroom in second there, um, but he did, and they were able to uh, hit him on the cut. And if you look at the positions, look at the minimap, the guy who went for rock fails it, doesn't even get respawn, completely fails it. Claw is at least able to make it himself, so they are still top two. Fox in third, gonna need a mushroom or something in order to break this up, can't pull a TC. Goes for a nano snipe, doesn't connect, pretty bad line, honestly. Kai gonna be looking to backspam his life here, and he does back a red, but he's just immediately redded himself. I don't know what that was. I, it looked like he got the box and just didn't spam his item in time. But either way, it's a lot of XI going around cut, and that is an XI shock. Kind of hard to tell. I mean, Quinn dodges and Bill, and I think they get Barney in cut, but they dodge like literally everyone else uh, behind Barney there. And I don't know, it's tough because I don't think Fox or Xander. Might, I don't know if they were going to pass the guys in cut anyways, but 2S gets top 2-4 out of it, and they get their Toads Factory track pick. On TF, you always need to break up those top spots pretty much within the first lap, uh, unless you can pull Blue Shells or Shock later. It's really hard to deal with the other team breaking away in top 2 or 3. Barney luckily pulls a star to cancel out this TC. It's only Xander in the front right now, but Barney's going to be able to cause some damage uh, getting up there with his star and whatever he chained. Quinn looks like he got bumped off. Dane's also back here. And Pam is hit. Zach is hit. So whatever the hell Barney did or whatever Xander did up there, it worked out because they were able to pretty easily uh, break away in top two. Like, look at the minimap. I mean, they not only broke up the top spots, they broke away too. And uh, Jazz takes the TC. Very nice bagger play. Fox drops behind Zach and Dane. Good play from him. Get the better box. Quinn ended up getting up there at the end. It's top three, eight. I think at this point it is possible because 2S does end up uh, just bagging. So XI must be up in the mid to high 20s here somehow. I don't know where the scores went, but uh, Fox pulls Bill and he's forced to use it, which honestly isn't too bad because it does get him all the way up to first. So Barney and him top two. Fortunately, Barney doesn't really see him on his screen, gets bumped around a little bit. Fib tight from lap one, crazy fib. And it's an XI early dodge with the 1-3 spots. And Zach's just read it out. So they're going to run away with this one. First war goes to XI. They were pretty convincingly in the lead the entire time. Um, 2S had a couple good races there. I mean, it wasn't too crazy of a lead. But they were in control pretty much the entire time. Now, I will say there was some questionable plays by XI. Like on BC3, lap one, 
Fox got griefed on Ultra pretty hard, and he left the cut open when he usually could have just blocked it with a fib. Um, and the reason I say it was a bad play is because Xander had uh, he Xander didn't even have shrooms. He had trip greens, and he went for shroomless. Now, luckily, he made it, but that's like insanely risky of him to just get bumped on the cut like that. And then Xander also could have easily gotten bumped because he can't take cut quickly. And then it's all 2S behind them. So if anyone on 2S has shrooms, bumps the other guys, they're just going to break lane first because Barney and Quinn were in bottom too. So I don't know. That was kind of a, a wonky play, but it ended up working out because they did, uh, or Xander did make it. So he's able to run it up in first. Now, the other thing was the Grimble Volcano Shock, which I think was just an execution error. Barney was probably trying to dodge himself first in the cut. Shocking 2S all behind him, TSing them in the lava, but it was either a late shot call or just some type of miscommunication because all of 2S ended up dodging and they got a pretty good race off that. Now, there are also some smaller errors that we saw Fox on Stadium in first lap one. Maybe could have just broken away and ran that up from first, but 2S did end up pulling shock and getting a huge race off of that, so he might have just got TSed anyways. And on the other side, 2S, we saw Pix fail Sandhop in first lap one DDR. Maybe he's able to just run that track up. They needed some frontal presence. I think one of them took Golden Ultra, but maybe he could have held down the four in first. And then on Gardens, Zach or Pam, Claw, whatever. One of them failed in first um, on that first turn, which usually doesn't matter, right? It's hard to really say that that was a bad play because usually that stuff doesn't matter on gardens but fox ended up just running in second going around cut lap one so 2s definitely would have been able to run in top two well, i mean maybe fox could have pulled shrooms or something but either way i mean they had the chance to run in top two if the guy doesn't fail in that first turn and the reason i bring all that up is because if xi is going to be making some misplays 2s has got to take advantage of it they stayed in there they it was never a dire situation. I think if 2S just executes a little bit better, takes advantage of the small mistakes that XI is going to give them, they could definitely win this. So let's jump into the second match. We start off on DDR, 2S is hosting, and all that stuff I was talking about before with minor fails and whatnot, yeah, Claw fails Sentop on lap one, so Xander's going to be able to get into first off of that. Dane going to schlag in this mega. Looks like Barney pulled shrooms. Just shrooms past him. And Fox is almost mega. He doesn't burn his golden. Kind of surprised he actually ended up holding on to it. But it's not too bad. But now he has to avoid the star. And he just ends up getting starred. And Jazz. Looks like Jazz got starred off. So Fox is stuck in the back for a lot of this race. Queen in eighth. See Barney also back here. Looks like Xander's probably the only guy up there for XI. Fox does have a golden though in sixth. Gonna be able to take this golden ultra, but it looks like she is also an ultra and Claw also an ultra. Um, looks like they both take a clean triple shroom cut. Xander broken away a little bit in first. Great pull with these trip greens. Almost gets the draft off. No power or anything. Somebody behind him has a TC. It's probably a 2S guy. Green doesn't connect. I'm surprised he didn't throw more up. And Fox fails wall glitch. Still has these greens though. So he's going to be able to hold off 2S, but the blue shell comes out. And Xander's blued on the boost pad, but Kai's going to be able to take over. This power block comes out. doesn't look like it affects anyone too much. But Bo, I think he hits the wall or something. And then watch this ending. Xander and Fox, they both own themselves, it looks like. They both tried to kind of ego over the sand. They both end up clipping it or getting bumped or something. Uh, Bo also gets bumped, but he still ends up finishing in fifth in front of three XI members. So absolute insane finish. Um, like I was mentioning before, if XI is gonna be failing, you gotta be taking advantage of it. That time they didn't really need to make any type of crazy plays to get in front of them. But yeah, Fox and Xander just kind of miscommunicating. Both tried to just uh, wheelie over that sand and they both clipped it or it got wheelie bumped or something. Either way, BC is the next track pick. 2S starts in top two, four, five, but Fox pulls two shrooms right at the beginning and then he fails again. This is what I'm talking about. So Claw's gonna be able to take over in the first green goes up. Honestly, pretty decent snipe attempt it looks like. No box for Fox. And he leaves the cut open, obviously, because uh, Bo's gonna be able to take that. And let's see if he makes it. Of course he does. So 2S is top two. Red Shell comes out, not gonna connect on anybody. 
These third place boxes are risky. You can always pull a TC. And it's Barney right behind him. Shroom's early. Kind of surprised about that. He's not going to be able to pass Claw off that. But it ends up being a good play because 2S uses Shock here. Trying to TS both uh, Fox and Barney. Because Fox shroomed up. And they don't obviously want to TS their guy in second. They call it a little bit later. And uh, Fox ends up surviving. Gets a green. Resizes in front of Claw. Backspam misses. Another backspam misses. That one was pretty lucky. Fox ends up pulling triple greens. Pretty good pull. Throws two of them up. Honestly, looked like they're going to connect. But then he gets back greened immediately. And then right after that, Blue Shell comes out. It looks like Claw or Barney is going to be first after that, on, after the split path. Um, but Barney is, is actually back here now. I don't know what happened to him. Must have hit a banana or something. Fox and Barney are both hit. Dane's also back here. Pack is extremely close. And it should be Bop in 10 because they did use the first one. Although it's very close and both baggers are respawning from Hawk. So neither bagger has it yet. Fox, Golden Zub, like I said, extremely tight pack. Bomb hits Xander and Fox. Fox gets Bill, though. Crazy good pull. Even if they don't get Shock with a pack as tight as this, he's going to be very easily be able to get up into the front. Looks like Barney is TC. So XI's bottom three. Quinn looks like he's in third, and with uh, the glitch probably open, Bo's just going to be able to take it. Going to definitely be a top two, possibly a top three here. Bomb doesn't connect, and the glitch is blocked. That bomb would have been crucial, would have gotten the bill out of Fox. Instead, he's going to be able to use it on the spiral. Pass up a lot of 2S. No shock. They are in Mega and Bill, but no shock comes out. Gets up into second. Green snipe doesn't connect. And it's still a winning race for 2S, 1, 3, 4, 6. Very good race for them. But if Bo was able to get that bomb snipe connect, that would have easily been top 3. Would have been probably top 3, 5, because XI would have gotten bottom 3 off of that. Also pretty fortunate for 2S that XI didn't get shocked there. They would have had 2 dodges in the front. Another Gardens race where 2S member just fails at the beginning. Dane gets this FIP snipe off, and Quinn shrooms up into first. Barney gets mega and Xander also shroomed up there, and it looks like XI is top two just barely. Triple shrooms in fifth, insanely good pull. Quinn goes around, Xander goes around, and it looks like both two S members took cut, so now they are top two. Classic Gardens spots just swapping at the cut every time. They keep their top two. Looks like Jazz is trying to drop a star or something, but then he just shrooms away, kind of. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing over there. Xander does shroom up into third, and he is pretty close to Dane. He could make a play on him right here, but Shot comes out. I think Zach dodges into set, so if he gets reds or trip greens or something, he's going to be able to hit out Fox pretty easily. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he just pulls shrooms, but then on the line, Dane fails, and you got to assume that he was getting third there, right? Because he was still in front of Xander. Maybe he gets fourth if Xander resizes. But instead of a top three or top two four, it's only top two five six. Still a good winning race from them uh, for 2S, but that's definitely points being left on the table. Koopa Cape is the next pick. Barney unfortunately steals Fox's box and then passes him a TC. Pretty funny. And he's not able to pass this off to Claw, who just shroomed away. So stuck in the back for a while. And actually going into lap two, XI is bottom four. The guy in first is broken away by quite a bit. Blue Shell does come out though. It's going to make things a little bit closer. Fox is holding onto the star. Honestly, don't really like that play. I think he should have just used the star to get up there. It's kind of gatekeeping better boxes from his teammates. Either way, he does chain it at last set. Lap two pulls a mega. No shock yet. It looks like neither bagger is moving. And XI is still all the bottom spots. But Pack is extremely close now. Frame chains the mega, so he's going to be able to take grass cut and get some mushroom. But he's going to be able to creep up into top three. And he's not going to have an item, though, so if any of these 2S guys have reds or it's just something to throw at him, he's going to get owned. Red comes out, but it just breaks on the tree, and he pulls trip reds anyways. XI pull, pulls shrooms, so they're able to take cut. Bo luckily pulls a mega to break these reds, and it's going to be able to slag or something if he wants to. Pack is extremely tight in these top five spots. Whoever pulls shrooms is probably going to be able to win, whoever can get these ground stars. But it looks like Bo hits the zapper or just fails at picking up the ground star. So he's out of it. And Xander was able to pass Dane at the end. I don't know if he got shrooms or what, but it's 1-3-5-6 for XI. When that definitely should have been a winning race for 2S. I mean, they were top four 
for a majority of that race, but uh, they just got passed up at the end, and nobody picked up the ground star. Side gets their mountain track pick, and Quinn throws a red up that skips the guy in second, hits Xander in first, Xander drops his fib on the guy behind him. So Fox is able to get into first, he runs for a whole lap, gets blued on the mountain lap two, and 2S takes over in 1-3-4. Barney's up there, but they are bottom two with a little bit of a break. They're gonna need shrooms and stuff to catch up, and Fox is still eighth going into the cut section lap three, but it's very close. That is an XI shock. Somebody from 2S drops the start of that. Very unfortunate for them. Zach, I don't know if he has a box. It looks like he has a banana, so Fox is gonna try to make a little cheeky play at the end. Doesn't happen. But it's a winning race for XI. They got one, three, four, six out of that. And it's a really tough call to use your star before the cut section if you're on 2S trying to predict an XI shock. I think they did just pull it um, pretty recently, though. Like the baggers hadn't moved forward or anything like that. So it's a really tough call to use your star when you're around your teammates going into the cut section because it's just going to make things awkward for everybody there. But 2S gets their Sherbet pick. However, XI. Top three, none of these greens connect. Literally six greens get thrown up and none of them connect. They all just kind of break on each other or the red shells or whatnot. And they keep their top spots until Claw shrooms up lap two. And look at this interaction. Quinn throws a red, but because this is Sherby and Claw is drifting on the ice, the bomb that he trails trying to break the red ends up hitting himself. And Quinn, Xander, Fox just running up in top three after that pretty much the entire time. Side gets their maple track pick and Fox runs it up in first lap one but it is a very tight pack and 2s immediately gets a blue shell so they're gonna be able to take over and it looks like top two unless somebody on XI is taking cut uh, behind them to pass them up well, it looks like they're the ones actually taking cut target pal lap two comes out I don't know what team it was on but they're breaking away in first Fox has a golden in a pretty high spot Xander and Quinn are right in front of him so all they really need is a blue shell in order to cause some damage here. Dane is also shrooming up. Looks like he's burning a gold in there. That's kind of a weird spot to use it. Doesn't quite bump Sander off. He's lagging all over the track, but does get up in a second. Fox going to use his golden now. Have the golden strat. Going to take cut unless Dane has shrooms himself. And Dane did end up pulling shroom. So they are keeping top two. No shock yet. Let's see if they get 2S out. No shock from XI. Fox goes wide here, burns his shroom because looks like Xander has power right behind him and they're able to target power Dane on the on the uh, tree branch turn here. Almost messes up Fox as well with those banana drops, but he does pass him up and of course he has no item. Xander chained it for who knows what, but Fox barely survives at the line, almost gets redded and owned. Dane ended up passing up Xander and making some type of play, but 2S still gets bottom two, so it's not too bad of a race for XI. But they are down around 9 points. 2S does have the lead after 7 races. And they get their Moonview track pick. Not my favorite running track. It can be pretty easy for their team to pull shrooms and break away if they pull a golden or something. But Claude does hold down first. Banana goes up, doesn't connect. But it is 2S that ends up pulling all the shrooms. Zach and Kai. It looks like they pulled both goldens. And then Fox <laughs> pulls a TC, gets a little bit flustered, runs into the car. Gets Bill though, and they get shot, kind of bailed out, can't lie. Looks like Quinn also dodged an Omega or something. Gonna make this back extremely close. Bill almost drops him into a bomb car that would have been tragic. But Bo is also blue shelled, so XI is 2 3 4, and then Zach gets redded, so now they're actually top three. Actually, kind of crazy that they're able to get into top three off of that. But then Claw Shrooms back up. These positions are just swapping every second. Gets a Nana, so he gets a little bit of protection. See if Quinn throws a fib up or something. Throws a banana, doesn't connect. Honestly, a decent attempt. Gets Nana himself, but now this red shell is able to hit because the Nana got taken out. So Fox takes over first. Tries to fib snipe the bagger. I don't know what he was doing there, but Fox does hold on to first. And Quinn actually does get second. He must have just gotten trailed on one of the boost pads and uh, just recovered very easily. We didn't really see a rear view or anything. But he does get second, so it's top two, four, eight for XI. Grumble Volcano's pick next. Fox debating whether he wants to slag on cut or not. Just puts a Nana on cut. Him and Quinn both go around, and it's 2S taking cut in front of them. Dane's got a little bit of a break. No one else was really close to him taking cut. 
Looks like Claw actually ends up hitting that Trail Fib out of Rock Hop. Pretty funny stuff. But Quinn and Fox hold it down in 2-3. They're really just looking for mushrooms. But Fox does not pull one. Instead, eats the Fib. It looks like Quinn actually did take Rock in uh, third, though. So he's going to be up there with Dane. But he gets target pad a little bit. It's a lot of 2S in the back, actually. So I want to say that might have been uh, an XI pow. Just powing after Quinn made cut there. And Fox pulls reds, can maybe cause a little bit of damage, but also pulls a TC. Gets the shroom though, he's gonna be able to take cut, makes it. Looks like Kai is billing around cut. But uh, no shock ends up getting used. Dane and Claw in 3 4, but XI just holds it down in top two. Clips the dirt at the end, doesn't matter. And I don't really know what happened to Quinn in the cave, but he was definitely up there. I think he got blue shelled or reddit or something. But he ends up getting eighth, and at this point, with three races left, XI is up only 13 points. They did take over the lead, but it's still very close. And he hits a nice little back fib. So it's top three for XI going into the cut section, and Fox then hits a nice little schlag. Barney goes off to the left for Ultra. Xander winds up for Shroomless. Kind of hard to tell what happens here, but Dane ends up bumping Xander off on Shroomless, taking Golden Cut. Barney had made Ultra, but because Dane was goldening, he just bumps him off. It was very... Uh, close interaction there, but Dane's just gone in first because he had that golden in like whatever third or fourth place and they just run it up in top two Going into the cut section lap three. Don't really know whose shock that is I want to say that's an XI shock looks like Barney was respawning They just respawn dodge him while shocking the other two S members on cut Fox makes ultra kind of hard to see what's happening here, but Xander is a lap behind so he is not in second He is in eighth. So now it's all tied up after that race um, I think 2S might have a minus 5 penalty thrown in there somewhere, but either way, it's very, very close going into these last two races. And we're thrown into the Delfino Scrambler. Fox hits a box in third. Quinn gets a box in fourth, pulls a mushroom. Honestly, very, very nice pull. Kind of risky to have like three guys go for it in these top spots, and Quinn just gets lag under the wall, and then Fox gets backed, so not really a whole lot happening. Dane and Barney hold down in top two. And Fox actually just kept third, even though he got backed. Pick up the ground shroom going into the cut, lap two, and is able to overtake Dane. So XI is top two, four. Very, very close. Delfino pack. Dane throws up some greens. They don't connect. Fox has triple bananas. Doesn't connect with any of them. And if you look at the bottom right mini map, Bop is actually respawning here on lap three. So Jazz definitely has it. XI uses shock lap three after cut. Gets Chi out of his uh, star, and they shock red him. Xander and Quinn get some easy dodges, and Barney just holds down first, so it's top three for XI. So they are up like 25 points going into the last race. 2S is pretty much going to need top three, six, uh, or top three, five, top two, four, five, top four type of race. And unfortunately for them, XI does get their Toads Factory track pick. No box in ninth for Fox. Kind of surprised he didn't just wait there and let his backer pass him up to you know go for that build. But uh, just ends up pulling shrooms. Now, 2S does end up breaking up a lot of the XI's top spots. They are in 2-3. Fox almost gets stompered. He only clips the back and it puts him to a full stop. I've honestly never seen that before. But 2S is probably going to need a blue shell in order to make something happen here. Like I said, they need a monster race. Fox pulling goldens in 6th is not helping them. He's going to be able to get a lot closer to this top spots. Pow block comes out. Hard to tell whose it was, but it looks like it target pals 2S a lot more than it targets Barney in first. And like I said, they're going to need a blue shell. They're going to need a shock at the end here, dodging them all up. But it's Xander and Bill, so no shock's going to be used. And Barney's getting a little bit too close to the finish line. So XI takes it home. 2-0, a very close victory for them. And like I was saying earlier, I think with the opportunity that 2S had here, I think they could have won. I mean, it's still XI, it's still going to be extremely top-level team, but they did have Quinn in over Faisal, and I would say that Fox was not in top form. He was still obviously amazing, but definitely we're seeing some mistakes. I mean, I've watched a lot of his VODs just doing these videos, and I think seeing him like fail wall glitch or something is so out of pocket and out of character so it makes me think that maybe it wasn't in tip top shape and you know with those two factors I don't know you know what Barney and Xander are doing but with those two factors I think 2S 
if they play better, could have taken at least a game here, could have taken home a dub. But on the other side, as we talked about, they weren't using picks or Fred. They had to sub out picks. I'm not sure if he even tried to play in the second match because he kept DCing. But I do agree that Picks is a pretty good upgrade over, I think they would probably sub out Dane. Um, I th also think Fred is probably a better war player than Dane as well. So both teams were playing with not their most optimal lineup, but I do think that Quinn in over Faisal is a bigger difference than what 2S, any lineup 2S would run. Because 2S has run different players in their lineups a lot. And meanwhile, Quinn, I don't even know the last time he's played with XI. I don't even know the last time he's war. But either way, XI wins it 2-0 and will move on to the other side of the semis. SE versus IF. Now, I have beat SE last time they played in this season. And they also have a winning record versus them for all-time GSC matches, I think. I think their record is 4-3. to three. But on the flip side, SE has a lot more experience in the playoff positions. They made it to the finals in the first season and the second season, which they lost to JX. Then they made it to the finals the third season, which they lost to Heaven. And then they made it to semis in the fourth season, which they lost to Daisy. So they made it to the playoffs every season except for the last one. Um, and now they are back. So they definitely have more experience. And like I said in my last video, I think that if SE just puts in a little bit of grind, that they'll be able to take it home. Now, as far as lineups go, SE is using their typical lineup. Revan Edison, Revive, Sean Mack. And IF is using Snow, Barry, Cormac, Dermo, which is the four that they've used pretty much everywhere, I think. And then they have Victor as their final runner, who is a fine player. And they don't really have anyone else that's, you know, a standout above him. They could really put anyone in that last slot. However, I do think that Victor is a lot less active than their other choices like Ryan British or Shadow. Although I don't think uh, Shadow could play these matches. I'm assuming Ryan maybe couldn't either. So we'll see if that little bit of inactivity affects it at all and jump into first match. And we start out race one, the classic Dry Dry Ruins pick. Revan starts out from second, gets the slip drift, which sometimes can allow you to go pretty fast there. Maybe go for the hopless TF input sand hop, but he's still in second, but is able to shroom in front of snow here. And because they're both American, he's definitely ahead. Keeps his lead for a lap. Edison takes trip shroom cut. Not the cleanest, but he does survive. So it is still going to save a lot of time. And it looks like two people, one IF member and one SE member, both get goldens. But Edison and Revan just keep their top two. IF is not able to catch back up. And Revan keeps first on Maple Treeway, their track pick for the entire race. He starts from first, keeps it going into lap three. It even builds up a bit of a break. When an IF shot comes out, dodges a lot of them in cannon. Mac drops a star. Dropping stars to shock like that is very nice. Not only does it speed up the guy in first, but if IF was holding blue shell for out of cannon and they throw it there, he's going to be able to dodge it with the star. But he is redded because he pulled a fib, and then Cormac looks like he got past a TC and pulled a mega right after. So pretty good items for IF. Edison gets bombed there. I think another SE member got bombed, actually, and that is a top four. Hard to say what happened to them at the end. But they, Snow, yeah, Snow and Cormac dodged and they kept their top two. Barry and Victor just might, might have made plays to get back up there. Luckily for SE, they get their Gardens track pick. Gets a red shell, spams it up immediately. Barry makes a slick play to try to break it on the wall to the right. But it actually just breaks on the guy coming out of cut. So a lot of SE in the back. Sean would be the only one to take cut and get up there. Edison shrooms into a dog. Not the best play, but this is Gardens. So you can catch back up. Pull shrooms eventually. Everyone's taking cut, but the pack is still pretty close. It looks like no one broken has broken away. So Victor's gonna do that now because he had a golden. And there's a lot of IF in the front. Somebody's pretty gone in eighth there. Evan pulls pretty money item here with these triple greens. Gonna allow him to take this turn however he wants. And he would have gotten backed off of the wall if he had not pulled those greens, even though he went wide. That green was kind of in his line regardless. Throws up a banana, very good attempt. Honestly, that definitely would have hit if uh, Victor was a little bit further behind. But Cormac takes cut, so they are top two. 
Mac drops a star here. Very nice star drop right on the money. And then that is an IF shock because Mac spins out again and Dermo does not spin out on the minimap. So they did not coordinate that correctly. And I don't think Revan would have gotten into first off of just that star. I think Cormac was too far ahead. He might have been able to get into second. But regardless, IF still gets two, three, four, five. So it was still decent for them. Their bottom two spots were able to dodge and pass up all of SE. So it really wasn't that terrible. Revan again runs for a little bit, pretty much the whole lap. But we have four rock hop takers. And Edison is the guy in first. Revan pulls pretty crappy items here, just as Nana's in a blooper, gets a little banana snipe off. It doesn't really matter though, because Snow has shrooms anyway, and as he's getting blued, pulls a mega, which is pretty nice. He can either chain this for mushrooms at any of these sets, or hold it assuming they have shock and on the mini map you can see both the baggers are going forwards so se did indeed pull shock pretty quickly after uh, revan pulls his mega here now i don't really know what happens on the cut because there's somebody who fails it somebody goes for respawn like sean and snow were the two guys who looked like they were going for it but sean actually ended up going around i think snow got bumped off on it so it's a lot of se in the front and they do have shock. IF is 1-3, but this frontal pack is pretty damn close. And what ends up happening is Edison also pulls a Mega. So it's a pretty easy double dodge for the Megas and then revise dodges and cut. And I think they TS Barry. Yeah, he doesn't make it on the minimap. So all they really need to do is take out Victor if they can. This red shell could be dangerous. I'm surprised he doesn't use his rear view. I There's also a chance you can just fall off in that crack. But Victor unfortunately hits the banana on the last turn, so they do get top three off of that. And this is the final or the semifinals, so GP points don't matter. But after four races, IF is up 20. They have to uh, reset the room and let Revan host to take their spots back because IF was not hosting with 12 races on. In the uh, playoff formats, you go 12 races in a row. That way, the host advantage isn't as crazy and it's a little bit faster. It's actually a lot faster if you do it that way. But anyways, SE gets their BC Wii pick for the top three, but Blood is smoked out quite quickly, and IF takes over two, three, four. Uh, Sean is just burning his star at the split path set, trying to chain items to get up there. I think uh, whoever's in first ended up keeping first for SE. So he's the only one up there. Gets a golden, not bad, but yet at this point you kind of need to cycle items, try to break up the top spots. Revise gets a nice little backfib on the downhill, and the pack is very close. Kind of hard to tell if Cormac is ahead of you here, but just knowing a with a little bit of lag reading, you can probably tell that he would be ahead. So Revise backs off a little bit. There's still 2-3, which is not bad. Could have maybe hop dodged that. Sean does keep his item. And then Essie responds with a blue of their own very quickly, which is nice because they're going to be able to get into top two off of this, assuming that Cormac doesn't dodge it. Looks like Sean was trying to block Shortcut. I don't think he actually succeeded. And no one actually takes cut. Green Shell comes up, gets a nice little smart bounce off the wall. IF is back in 2 3 4. And if they get a blue shell now, then it's going to be quite bad because they're just going to take over in the that top three positions. Looks like someone on SE was forced to burn a star from that TC. Another backfib down the middle hits, hits. And then a backspin around the corner hits Snow. So all of a sudden, there's two, three, four positions, which is honestly pretty good if you're able to like double back or, or just keep the guys behind you away. It's pretty good. And then Sean gets blued. So like I said, those two, three, four would have been very money for them. They would have easily been able to take over at least top two here. But instead, SE is still in two, three. And an SE shot comes out. I think they got it late there. Revised dodges in Mega. Uh, yeah, it looked like both baggers were respawning from Hawk. So Mac must have pulled it sometime lap three. And they are 1 3. Cormac takes both boxes, which is nice play on him if he actually intended to do that. Revan, unfortunately, <laughs> fucked up the last turn pretty badly, like drifts the wrong way. And then Barry's able to pass him off that. It wasn't too bad, though. If he, if he got TC, that would have been that would have been quite bad because they would have got 2 3 4. It only loses one spot. Um, but SE keeps first going into the shortcut section, so Revise is going to be able to dictate what happens here. Looks like he's going for Ultra. Snow also was going for Ultra. Revise, or Revan, excuse me, blocks with a Nana. I think Cormac ended up unblocking for them. Edison, however, is the first one to make cuts, but IF does take it both behind him. Two Nanas go up, doesn't connect. 
So Barry and Victor are 2-3, and I don't know what happens to Barry there. I don't think he got hit. I think he just kind of drove off the track. So SC's back in 1-3. I think Edison went to block Ultra there, and then Pow Block comes out. Hard to tell from which team, uh, but either way, our boy gets powered off of cut and then unfortunately fails Shroomless. So he's stuck in the back, but honestly, Pack's still pretty close. And that appears to be an SE shock. They just block cut. I think they might be top two at this point, and they prevent all the IF from taking. Looks like Revise either went for a TC cut or got hit on cut. He's respawning here. Revan does make Shroom cut, but he's bumped into the banana. Kind of devastating, to be honest, because now he has to deal with Victor's reds, and he's just not in a good spot. And he pulls a blooper, so he can't really do anything about it. So it looks like he's just kind of screwed here. Chances blooper in seventh for Pow Block. So yeah, he's definitely screwed, right? He can't gain any spots off this except for somehow Cormac is off the track respawning and Revise got Mega. So he ends up getting winning music off of that. Uh, one, three, five for SE. And it's an RBC pick from IF. And guys, you know how important the start of this track is. And Revan does get the draft. They're taking two items in top two. Gonna get the draft again. If you are able to play the beginning section well and set yourself up for the rest of the race, sometimes there's just not a lot the other team can do because now our boy has triple nanas in first, so he's just gonna be able to back tight around every turn, call it out, back like super tight so that like if somebody goes for the super tight line, they're gonna hit it. And they're already bu building a little bit of the break here unless somebody like goldens up at the cut, but that does not happen. So Revan and Sean run it up in top two the entire race. And it looks like Mac does, ha does have shock and somebody dodged in Bill um, near that last item set. So it's going to be top three for SE. Kind of a boring race for them after they broke away at the start. And he ended up getting shock. Maybe Edison was holding a blue shell or something. But regardless, they get their stadium pick. But Revan is bumped out pretty quickly kind of hard to say how someone would even be able to get up there that fast unless you like drafted right because you're starting in like fourth or fifth there but victor did somehow manage to get up into first now revan ended up pulling a star pretty early on just holds it for the entire race and at this point the end near the end of lap three as he is in top two victor goes for shroom cut it looks like barry went for like shroomless with a bomb or something um and cormac had dc'd so as he is one three, four, five, and they have shock and they have a star. So they're just automatically winning this race. They just TS second. So I kind of understand why Barry would go for like a shroomless play there to try to disrupt that because they're just going to lose that race by a lot anyways. So you kind of have to do something drastic knowing that you're a man down. The other team has shock and whatnot. But SE has brought it all the way back and now they are up 20 going into the last four races here. And SE gets their DKS track pick, remember, 12 races on, so they are getting uh, the top three positions back. Revan keeps first, but Victor takes over with double. Green goes up, not the best attempt, but it's kind of hard to hit people there. And IF quickly break up the top spots, they are 1-3 or 1-4 going into the double section. Victor backs a fib on cut, pretty nice fib. You could definitely have still made that in the wide line, but Revan fails it unfortunately. Palbot comes out as Cormac lands from double, and he's T-Pout in the snow. So IF is, or excuse me, SE is still 2-3, uh, even after Revan failed double. So Victor is gone, but that is an IF shock, and a rogue bomb is thrown in the forwards direction, hits Revan. So pack's pretty tight, except for Victor. It's all going to depend on who's able to make double here. Barry, unfortunately, ended up pulling a TC, it appears. So he's out of the race. Cormac... Looks like he fails double and then Revan also fails double. So it's actually not the best race for IF, even though they ended up pulling shock there. Victor does hold on to first, but SE keeps two, three, four. And at this point, all they need are some, you know, pretty okay last three races in order to take it home. Revan pulls triple shrooms at the beginning, takes one shroom cut, takes two shroom cut. And it appears that no one else was really shrooming up there. Uh, no one is taking cut or goldening. Edison got into first, probably pulled a shroom or just did shroomba. And now they're 1-3. Victor has trip man is pretty good item. Revan has shroom, pretty good item. He's just able to take cut. Edison ended up getting ground star. So they are top two. Keep their, you know, top two, one, three spots going into lap three. Cormac backs Revan almost into the waterfall. That would have been devastating. He's forced to back off because of these triple reds anyways. And Dermo has shock at this point. Uh, Revise uses star just in case they called in a set or something. 
And then Revan also pulls a star, so pretty good that they're going to be able to cycle dodges here uh, at the end. And it appears that Snow is shrooming, so he definitely doesn't have a dodge yet. So unless somebody has a mega, they're really not going to be able to do anything. All the boxes are gone, unfortunately. Gets the water box, and it's another star, so pretty money item. But he's still an eighth, so he doesn't really gain any time off of it. Shot comes, dodges Barry. Now, remember, Edison was in first, but Sean was also up there. I think Barry just ends up starring Sean into the waterfall. Victor also gets owned somehow, so he ends up getting last that race. But yeah, Barry probably took out Sean there. Cormac and Snow were shocked onto the boost pad, and Edison ended up keeping second off of it. So pretty good race for IF, to be honest. 1-3-4, not bad at all. They get their DK Mountain track pick. Bomb goes up, does not connect. And Cormac manages to get sneak his way up into second. Barry keeps first. And somehow Edison ended up pulling shrooms. Like he started in second. It appears like he got the ramp box in second or something, but he must have bagged for a golden or triple shrooms or something. But either way, appears to be an IF pal that comes out there. It definitely looks like it was tar target powering SC a lot harder than it was uh, IF. Spots stay pretty mixed this race. Barry does hold down first. Um, and at this point, SC is in like two, four, five. Sean is up there in second. So as long as they can keep these spots, won't be too bad. Nobody uses shock, so no one probably has it. Both baggers are sitting at the set. SC ends up throwing a blue shell out, which is very money. Sean is in second, except somehow Cormac just outlines them here, it appears. I think Cormac has triple reds in first. He backs like two of them there, hits Revan, but fortunately doesn't hit anybody else. He's really going to need to make some plays and take some people out if, if I have, have want any shot at winning. Revan goes for 08, playing it safe, revised bills, and I'm sure that had to have been an SE shot because there's no way somebody's just dodging a bill at the end. Like, that's such an easy win condition. There's no way you're not calling that. Um, but they only end up getting first off it. I have does get 2-3-4. And going into the last race, SE is up about 20 points, so IF's going to need a pretty monster race here to bring this home. Cormac shrooms up at the beginning. It looks like Snow gets triple greens, and unfortunately greens Cormac, because there's no way, like, I don't know what else would have hit him. Because Sean is goldening up, so there's no way he's hitting him. And then Snow gets redded out, so SE takes over in top three, and Sean had golden, so he's got a pretty nice break. Barry ended up shrooming up at one point. Victor is forced to star early. You know, you got to just star and cycle for a blue shell or something in order to break up the top spots. But I have does end up pulling shock, so they use an early shock dodging Victor. You're definitely going to be able to get into first off of this. And they are still like 1-3. Gets a nice little bat green off, but like I said, they're going to need a monster race to bring it home. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen because they only get top two out of it. Cormac DC, or maybe he just weed off because he got like owned or something. But either way, SE wins the first match. Pretty close match, though. They were down, what? They were down a lot, you know, after that second race. They got top forward. Brought it back, but it was always very close. No one was ahead by more than, like, 30 points, I want to say, at one point. It was always very close, which is the war you like to have. You know, you always like to feel like you're still in it and you can fight for something. But SE ended up taking it at home. I think they were able to use Shock just way more effectively I have started off with the first two, I'm pretty sure. And then SE just went on a run where they pulled five in a row and like on five different tracks and were able to just like use it so well. They were just in position to make the most out of it, like on RWS, on Grumble. Like on Grumble, they're just holding dodges and they get shrooms. So what do you, what do you really do? Like you're going to get destroyed on that race. Same thing with RWS. You're controlling all the top spots and you have a dodge in the mid pack. Like that's automatically going to be money. And then on the flip side, IF just wasn't in position to get huge races off of their shocks. Like on uh, DK Summit, like on DK Summit, I, I don't know. They had a bomb. It looks like when they dodged in cannon, they got somebody with the bomb, but then Barry pulled a TC. So he got owned and they just weren't able to catch up off of it. And then Gardens, Mac has the clutch drop star. So they could have maybe gotten like one th or top two, four or five or something off that race if Revan was the only guy who stayed up there, but they end up only getting two, three, four, five off it. And then Koopa Cape, they actually did get a pretty good race off that shock, but I think Barry like had to make a play in order to hit out uh, Sean. Otherwise, they probably would have gotten like two, three. SC probably would have gotten two, three or two, four that race. 
it just appeared that the pieces weren't really falling in place as well as they were for SC. Like they just weren't pulling as many dodges when they needed to or, or whatnot. And when that happens, that's when you got to make you know the game winning plays and the, and the difference makers, right? You can't, you can't play sloppy because the other team with better luck is just going to be able to steamroll you out and you didn't even lose by that much. So I think it was definitely winnable for IF. Like for instance, RBC, they just got uh, kind of outplayed at the beginning might not even be a good track pick for them considering they all have kind of different lag. Meanwhile, SE can pretty much knows the lag like the back of their hand for their own players, at least they're all Americans, so it's not gonna be that much of a difference and they were able to just get into top two and completely control that race from the beginning. So we'll see if IF can make some adjustments and jump into the second match here. Race one DDR, who would have guessed it? Get the Revan a host from first and would you know it, he runs from start to finish completely uninterrupted i think sc might have been holding shock there uh, but they get one three four off race one just completely running it race two they get their maple pick but snow it looks like he pulled trip shrooms and maybe like fourth or fifth or something very easily able to shroom up into first and revan unfortunately gets a bad kind of bounce or just takes the turn badly on the tree branch so ifs one three cormac chained a star into something revan's got a banana i can't really do much with this Pulls a blue, which is good, and then if you look on the bridge, Sean gets shroomed off and Edison is back, so very fortunate that he pulled this blue or else I probably is just going to run away in top two for quite a long time because uh, Cormac does have shrooms in first. Barry Golden's up, Fib does not connect, and pulls another really good item for the position he's in. Revan gets a pow in like fourth for the brief second he was in fourth. He's able to at least target pow. Barry isn't quite able to get both of them. So Cormac's going to still break away in first a little bit. But now they are 2-3. Stays in second for a while. Mac drops a ground star from the IF shock. And still pretty far ahead of the pack. It doesn't look like people are catching up to him. Except Snow gets Bill. Easy Bill up at the end. He probably dodged in a star in eighth to that shock and just got Bill dodged up. So top two for IF. And they get their Waluigi Stadium pick, kind of an unconventional pick. I wouldn't be my first choice for a top two running track, but Snow keeps first and then Revan messes up, gets a, a bad hop. He could have easily blocked that, that uh, red shell and just went up for a box, but messes up kind of badly there, gets sent to the back, pulls shrooms. He's just shrooming up the entire lap. Gets all the way up to 5th off this golden. Unfortunately, pulls a TC. Sean and Edison are top 2, though, in this lap 2 here. Isn't quite able to pass it off. Gets a red shell. Kind of useless. So, unfortunately, Revan's going to be stuck in 8th for the remainder of the race. Gets a star and dodges. Let's see whose it was. That is an SE shot. Gets, uh, I think it was Victor, off. And it's top 3. Sean and Edison stayed in top 2. Vise also got up there. They get their BC We pick, so everybody's getting their running track pits. We got no reset tracks, all runners. Riven decides to just go forward in seventh with no box. It's sometimes it's a good idea to just like wait uh, when you're top three because you can get the bill, prevent the other team from getting that early bill. And as you can see, they actually do get the bill, but he's uh, Snow was very far behind. He must have burned out or something. And he also doesn't hold it, which could signify that. Dermo is in 9th and not in 10th, and as the backers pass, Mac is in 10. So, could have been a power play if Dermo was in 10th there, and, you know, he could have got to boxes first. With Bill in play, it could have been an easy dodge early, but now, SE is in full control. They end up pulling blue. Sean stops on a dime to get Victor in the blue shell. So, they were able to keep fir first and a lot of the top spots, and then they make a play with the blue. However, Sean falls off the track kind of hard to see there but he does just fail the low trick strat and uh, falls off revan almost gets target powered off there kind of a weird spot and they miss the target shock which is kind of important because cormac definitely would be able to pass him here off of that respawn off of that target shock but instead revan just keeps second and sean was able to get at least back up into third so maybe him falling off didn't end up mattering quite as much as he would have thought uh, considering how bad it looked <laughs> But IF gets their RBC pick. Looks like Barry does get a draft, but it doesn't take him to first. Revan gets into first, but has no item. And he knows the guy behind him probably doesn't have an item. That green was probably Victor's. Swerves around a little bit. Gets a nice bump. Um, gets his mini turbo out and keeps his line better with that bump. 
So it's up to Revan to keep this first. The pack is already kind of breaking unless Victor gets a red here or Shroom, he can't do anything. But Victor does get a red and it does actually connect. I think Revan probably could have dodged it if he maybe slowed down or angled himself differently or something. But IF takes over like top two, four there, four, five, and they just end up running that race. Um, without shock or blue, you can't really do anything with that super overpowered backspan. They get the track pick again, another running track. We got all the powerhouse running track getting brought out. DK Mountain, Revan gets Shroom's very nice item. Shroom's once to get into second. Might be able to Shroom here, but Edison's still in front of him, it looks like, so he just opts to hold it. Um, that green doesn't connect. Goes for a 2008 strat. I have no idea why he does this. I guess he's just concerned that uh, he's going to lag bump off Edison, but instead he gets very harshly punished and is in the back after that bump off for the majority of the race. Meanwhile, Barry is just cruising in first. Sean gets backed, Cormac is slagging in Omega, and if no shot comes out here, it's going to be really tough for them to break up the top three, as you can see on, on the uh, the nicknames or the name tags, Snow and Victor are second and third, and they get the back rain off on fourth. You might think this is an easiest top three of their lives and the target pal, but look at the position. He's in third, he's in fourth, third, Revise and Edison are two, three. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? I still can't figure this out because Snow and Victor were rounding that turn before cut in 2-3. They must have, the guy in second must have hit something off the track and dropped an item on the cut that hit the other guy off. Like, there's no way, I don't know. One of them failed and it caused a chain reaction and it was very bad, which that was the easiest top three of their lives and they, they buffed it up. They scuffed it up. Anyways, Barry takes Ultra, but Revan overtakes him just by taking normal cut. Goes for the simple block, and a bomb comes out of cut. It looks like it hits both Sean and Barry. Sean Barry, funny. But, because uh, I think I saw two funkies spinning out, and nobody's taking ultra, no one's taking cut. The guy who tried going for cut fails it. So Revan's just breaking away in first at this point. Nobody contesting him. It looks like Barry still is second, but the pack is extremely close. Shock comes out here. I think that is an SE shock. Um, they might have wanted to prevent Barry from going on cut. I think they dodged a guy in like 8th, revises back there. Edison ends up sitting on cut, taking a shrimless after resizing. So they are top 2, and they actually end up getting top 4 off of that. Sean was still up there in 4th, and then like I said, I think revise en ended up dodging in the back. But uh, yeah, top 4, retaliation. We finally get a reset track, Gardens is picked. Revise gets a TC to take cut, and Cormac's gone. He ended up pulling Trip Shroom, so he has Shrooms in first. He's going into lap three. Nothing really happens. Cormac takes cut in first. But pay attention to the mini-map. So this is an SE shock. Revise dodges. Cormac is still broken away a bit. And the bagger in the chomp section spins out. He might have dropped a ground star there, uh, but it's hard to tell because neither of the Funkies really speed up, so maybe not. But either way, Revise goes around that hedge and he loses that 1v1 interaction up front. So he doesn't pass Barry, ends up spinning out. Revan stuck in the back, so it's one 4 5 for IF, pretty neutral race. You get another pretty neutral track, KC. Hard to say if it benefits uh, running spots more than bagging spots, but Revan gets tripped Shrooms, Shrooms up. I think Edison pulled Shroomba, or excuse me, Shell for the Shroomba, or just took normal cut. And they're top two right now. They're actually top four. It's kind of hard to see in this rear view if you flick back. But Revise is chilling with triple reds out and a TC. So he's going to be able to protect them. Give them a little bit of a break. And yeah, there's the drop star. Going to let Edison break away in first. And a crazy little maneuver there to break the red on the bagger. Don't know if the bagger Mac uh, like drove into it intentionally. But either way, it was pretty good play. Cormac shrooms up. So I have isn't as far behind as you would have thought they would be considering TC and a uh, triple reds slowing them down and it looks like Edison snipes the Goomba doesn't pick it up and then this mushroom splits with Cormac and Revan and then Revan is able to red Cormac off of it kind of a weird interaction maybe uh, maybe he didn't hit the Goomba on his screen or just he hit it way too close and was scared that he wouldn't pick up the mushroom or something either way Edison does keep first and they're 1-3 pretty close Koopa Cape pack honestly usually somebody's like gone in eighth because they get TC'd or something. Barry ended up taking cut, gets redded. Edison's blued on the boost pad, so it's going to make this pack even tighter. Doesn't go for Shroomba. Very, very mysterious play. 
I have no idea why you just wouldn't rip that. I don't know. Maybe the nerves were getting to him. He just wanted to play it safe or something, but doesn't go for Shroomba, and this top pack is very close, but it looks like SE is top two unless somebody passes them on cut. Trails his Nana, which indicates, yeah, Cormac was the guy coming out of cut, and it doesn't look like he has an item. I think he ended up just taking the waterfall, but a red comes out, so luckily Revan is able to protect himself once, but he's not able to protect himself again. Ermo picks up a ground star in the middle of the pack. Dangerous plays. There's a lot of SE in the front. Victor and Barry are also up there, but Edison just pulls a shroom. Shroom's the first. Revan pulls shrooms. Top two. I mean, the pack was just so close. Whoever pulled shrooms at the end there was going to win. So even though Revan got hit, he still pulled out the second place. And going into this race 10, SE is up like 50 points. Haven't really been talking about the score too much. It was pretty close. SE pretty much up the entire time but now they're up 50 and they get their coconut mall track pick revise ends up pulling shrooms it looks like so they're already broken away in first but edison gets passed up cormac also shrooms up so if is at least in control of some of the top spots but they're definitely going to need a blue or make some type of play on revise in order to take him out revan golden's up is able to pass barry get into fourth place and if you look in the mini mac the pack is absolutely split in half um, the bottom three spots, which two of which are IF members are very far behind. This is a really strange interaction here. Might be hard to see what happens, but Cormac gets redded. Um, it looks like Revise slowed down for the blue, but didn't dodge it. However, Cormac, like I said, got redded anyways. But Revan was able to get into first. Edison was also up there. And finally, the IF shot comes, gets them or gets Barry in the mega. So he's able to dodge, but they're still like six, eight. Victor is very far behind. Cormac's still back here. Which means even though if Barry is able to get first, it's still going to be a decent enough race for SE, which is all they really need. Somebody hits the car, nope, it's just a little position glitch. And yeah, even though they get 1-4 off of it, they're still down uh, like 50 points. So I'm going to call it there. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they ain't coming back from that. They play out the last two races, and it's an SE dub 2-0. And even though it felt like the shock count and impact was a lot more neutral as he ended up getting a bigger breakaway in terms of a lead at the end but going into mountain even after mountain the score was pretty much tied up but that mountain race was really the catalyst i feel like for swinging the momentum in se's favor i still don't know how that happened I, they literally blundered a top three that would have been an easy top three they ended up getting bottom two off of it but they still, like I said, they were still tied, but then that next race, immediately BC3 top four, there had to be some type of misplay because you're not getting top four on BC3 unless your people are failing cut. Like, if at least one person is making cuts every lap or making ultra or whatnot, you should have at least one guy up there. And even after that, they were still only down like low 30s, but the Koopa Cape race, they needed to make something happen because at the end, they just got kind of out items. Um, as he just pulled shrooms, IF wasn't in a position to pick up that ground star, so Dermo taking it actually was probably fine play. But they needed to make something happen earlier in the race, or just not get unlucky at the end. There's really no other way they're going to be able to do something there. But SE takes it 2-0 over IF, so they will be moving on to the finals to face XI. Now, very interestingly, SE has a 6-1 record versus XI in GSC. In season three, they played MW, Metro Wipeout, which essentially is Lazarus, and they beat them in that season. The next season, they went 2-0 in season four versus XI. The next season, season five, they went 2-0 and versus XI. And funnily enough, that season, they only had three wins, and two of those were versus Lazarus, and Lazarus won that division that season. And then this season, season six, they are 1-1, one one, so they got their first loss, actually. First time losing to Lazarus. And they have never played each other in playoffs. Even though I mentioned before that SE had a lot of playoff experience, and they did make playoffs a couple times in these past few seasons, so has Lazarus. They've obviously won the last two championships in D1. But they have never played each other in the playoffs, not the finals, not in semifinals, nothing. So it's a little bit of a storied rivalry here because XI has been the most dominant team in Mario Kart Wii. But for some reason, SE has their number. They're six and one. It took them finally this season just to get one win off of them. 
Now this matchup has been building for a number of seasons and I don't know when the last time these guys played in a um, tournament like in MKPS or if any side tournaments happen. I don't know if they've played in any finals or semifinals matches. So this will be a first, at least for the first time in a couple of years. And I'm very excited to see what happens. Last time, the last video I predicted, XI would win. But now looking back at the results, not, not quite as convinced. Just looking at those past results alone, SE knows that they can beat this team. And XI might be a little bit nervous, you know? But at the same time, after looking at some of the lineups, this is the first time XI will be playing with Jazz as their bagger with the same four runners, Fox, Barney, Xander, Faisal, and then Jazz as their bagger. So this is like their full force getting brought out because Jazz is a bit of an upgrade, I would think, in terms of bagging over Evan and Ryan, who they previously used. Although bagging is one of those things where the a bigger a skill gap or a smaller skill gap doesn't matter as much, but this is their main, main lineup that they're using. So we'll see what happens and jump into the first match. And here we go. Race one, first match of finals. Koopa Cape, haven't seen a lot of KC race one. A lot of DDR, a lot of Sherby. Fox gets a green, so he's going to be able to take Shroomba, except bam, Fib in his face. Messes him up. At least he doesn't hit the Fib. I'm very surprised. But it does make him go through the grass, and he's unable to take the Shroomba. That Fib was in such a good spot. I love it. Xander's TC. Barney's also kind of back here. Edison gets redded. This is the golden extremely early and for the reason I think Jazz already has it because he goes forward and they do use shock here before he even takes cut and Faisal dodges. Very weird shock. I'm surprised they would have used it there. Um, especially because you could have gotten top two after set or at least first place after set or something. But they pulled a blue shell anyways so uh, XI does take over in top two. Fox gets back right in, and now he has POW in 8th. It's always an awkward spot to be in with your teammates and communicating where you want to actually use POW to not target POW anybody. Fox pulls blue again. He just holds it the whole race. Faisal ends up running after that dodge, so it's 1, 4, 5, 8. XI gets their gold mine track pick. Again, another kind of weirder track pick early on, but Xander gets the draft from 4th. It looks like Faisal actually gets the draft from 5th, and they have the 8th place box, which I think... Barney back there, chain to star for something. And then somebody also got bumped off. So XI just has a clean start at the beginning of this race. Little draft action off. Fox eventually gets blue left too, but Xander still able to take over first. And at this point, they had built up such a break that they keep top two. Top three, actually. I think Barney uh, shroomed up at some point. The shot comes out. It's an SE shock, little drop star. Sean dodges. Riven dodges, so they're going to be able to take over and looks like top two, but Sean gets bumped by Barney, so they're only going to be one three here and they can potentially lose this. Barney and Fox are very close to both these people, going to be able to throw some items at them. Red Shell doesn't connect, Edison's shrimming up, Fox has a bomb, throws it kind of in a weird spot, it's like hard to hit there. Bomb up at the last turn, doesn't hit. And if you look at the last corner, Barney's nowhere to be seen because he got backed in the cut, or right after the cut, or something. And SE actually pulls away with top three. And they get their DK Mountain Track pick. A little Uno Reverse card on XI, hitting him with the DKM pick. Revan does keep first, and he gets the back spam off, so he hits uh, Faisal, but the Fib drops on uh, Edison's face, and now Fox has a red shell in second. But I think Revan's far enough away, but barely not. I think he honestly could have dodged that. I think if he like took that turn extremely tight, got a bunch of wonky airtime, he might have been able to actually dodge that. But Fox takes over in first. It's kind of like GG's right there. You're going to need a blue shell or power or something. But it looks like that's an XI power getting Xander and Fox uh, clearly after cut, probably t powering a lot of SE. And they hold that top two, getting top two for that race. Garden's pick from SE. Fox gets triple nan, is immediately backs one, that's always a good spot to back spam. But Edison and Revan both pull shrooms and it looks like 2-3 or 2-4. Barney gets a mega and Xander gets a golden, so he's going to be able to interrupt that a little bit. But they are still top two. Fox pulls another blue shot, he's been pulling a lot of blues this war. And holds it to throw it after cut, I'm assuming, just in case. Revan has a shroom in first, because getting hit by a blue after cut loses more time. And dodging the blue and having to go around 
But Xander takes cut right behind him. If the blue comes out, we'll see him spin out on the minimap. He does spin out. Looks like he dodges it, but then an SA shot comes out anyways. He didn't even, they didn't even like cancel. They just had two stars. They figured we're in two stars. We might as well just use it. Mac is probably still in 10th. So XI is a lot of these bottom spots. I think SE is still in 8th. Yeah, Edison's back there, but he's about to get triple red back spammed upon. Goes for a little niche behind the, behind the box red for the 8th placer. Fox pulls a blue again. The guy in first is kind of broken away. I think he ended up dodging the blue. So it's all SE in the front. Ro Rogue triple green shot goes up. Xander dodges an Omega at the last second. That honestly saves their race because uh, besides Revan in the back, Barney, Faisal, and Fox are all back here. And SE ends up getting 1-3-4. If not for that Mega Dodge, I'm assuming they would have gotten top three on that race. Kirby is picked next. Luckily for XIS, he doesn't get the track pick. And Xander falls off, but Fox pulls a shroom. It's going to be really tight coming out of these split path sections. Probably can throw a fib up. He does, and it connects. That was dirty. Dirty fib spot. Barney shrooms up. Looks like he golden or triple shroomed up. And XI takes control of the top spots pretty quickly. Revan probably doesn't have an item here, so yeah, Fox is just going to over slag on him. He Definitely could have just thrown the red there. He delays it a little bit. Gets him anyway, so doesn't matter. He loses a little bit of time, but Fox and Barney just keep that top two. Xander eventually gets up there. Faisal gets fifth. It's top three, five. We don't really get to see how they got that monster race besides from Fox and Barney just running it up, but even though the pack was close, they just kept their spots. And Essie gets their Grumble Volcano track pick. Top two just go, so Fox is looking to pull Shroom in second here, but he misses the box and gets bombed out anyway. He's forced to the back for majority of the race going into lap two. Sean is on cut. Another SE member is on cut. I think it's revised. And XI used a very early shock on lap two. Dodges Xander in a bill and TS is, well, target shocks one SE member, but it prevents them all from taking cut. So it's all XI in the front. Barney is the first one in this respawn and then another SE member and then Fox. And as you can see here, Xander throws a red up, trying to hit Sean, but he ends up redding his own teammate. And that would have been, that would have been top four, actually, if he was able to red uh, Sean. <laughs> but it's still one, three, four, five, still great race. And Essie is just not letting them get what they want with these reset tracks. Fox, quick draft, Truman first, takes cut. What do you think happens? He just runs it the entire time. So we don't really get to see what happens in the back. SE gets two, three, four, five out of it. And halfway into this war, XI is up about 18 points, so it's very close. They finally get their DDR track pick. Fox runs for a lap, clips the sand lap two. So he's gonna get passed up by some ultra takers. Barney's the first one out, so it's one, three. Green goes up, doesn't connect. Honestly thought that looked good, but he gets front redded anyways. So XI gets into top three. Barney, Fox, and Xander, and they actually just end up keeping that top three, even though the pack was kind of close, you know, you could have had some people taking cut, but they just keep that top three, and they finally get their running track pick, get their maple pick, third place is going to be able to jump into cut, top two, hold their spots, unless Fox gets redded, he's probably going to be able to shroom past Barney here, or maybe just shroom wide and get an item box, looks like he opts to just shroom wide, hope not to bump his teammate. Barney gets a nice little trail off, ground star drops, and Xander picks it up in third. He doesn't schlag with this though. I'm so confused as to why Xander just barreled into second there, almost hitting his teammates instead of just trying to schlag, but whatever, it works out. There's to still top two. Maybe he had shrooms and wanted to get up into first just in case blue shell or something, but Fox slowed down at the cannon, indicating maybe that SE could have had shock or that XI definitely doesn't have it. Revan gets absolutely wombo comboed. Barney picks up the ground star, stars him. Fox passes him with TC. Just an insane sequence of events. And then Fox goes out for this box. Look at this trick. Look at that low trick. What was that? Disgusting maneuver. Going into lap three, we see no shock from XI. Fox slows down a little bit. So he gets in cannon with Sean, but they shock Sean out because he has mega. And they get all their bottom spots in the cannon. So they probably have some pretty good items. They're definitely still going to need some type of blue or just like a golden up in the front there in order to do something. And Fox pulls a pal, so he probably can get all these items out of him. 
maybe target pile them on the U-turn here. As you can see, Barney is in the pack now. He did get, he, he was spinning out on the minimap. Um, Xander should still be gone. Fox pulls a TC and Revan has reds in front of him. So maybe he can pass this off. He does end up passing it off, but Faisal gets owned. So there's actually a lot of SC in the back besides Revan. Unless Fox can shroom pass revise here, which he doesn't, but he ends up passing Edison, who's spinning out on the line, and they end up getting one, four, five, seven off of that. It should have been a little bit worse for them. I mean, Essie made a huge comeback that race with all the stuff that was happening. XI picking up two round stars, but they were able to take out Barney in second, at least mitigate the damage that race. Waluigi Stadium is picked next. Fox gets a bomb, and he's all the way in second. Backs the bomb. Crazy, looks like he gets three of them or makes at least three of them lose some time. So, XI top three get some cut takers, Revan and Revise. The red shell doesn't connect, so they are going to actually be able to infiltrate those top spots a little bit. Going to lap two, Barney loses his spot. So, it's a lot of SE in, in the high mid spots right here, but Xander's still holding it down at first. Fox just takes cut here. And actually, first and second are very close to each other going into the uh, turn skip at Revan and Xander. Faisal also shrimps up, looks like he probably goldened up, but gets in front of him. Another bomb for Fox, throws it up. Honestly, an insane attempt there. I, <laughs> there's no world where that was connecting. We're going to lap three, Revise finally gets taken out, and Faisal just takes cut again. Xander had finally solidified his place in first, but Revan's still up here, but it's 1-3-4, or top two floor for XI, so they hold all the cards unless an SC Shock somehow manages to d demolish them. However, it is an XI shock. Just TS is the guy in second cleanly. No counterplay. I don't know why he didn't slow down. I don't know why Mac didn't go. Because, I mean, they just get top three off of that. Easy. And with only three races left, XI is up 60 points. And they get their movie track pick. So, SE is going to need to get three big races here. Uh, or stack up some troll penalties or something. <laughs> Fox gets a golden at first set, starting from third. Insane. Just breaks away in first, holds it down the entire time. A little bit of tricky target pal action there with the bomb cars. Shot comes out for XI, and they're just going to be able to dodge up their bottom spots, get into second very easily. And it's top three for XI. That's going to shut it down. There's no way SC's coming back from that. And XI takes the first match of finals. Now, we saw SC was in it for a while, halfway through the war. They're only down 18. But on every race you can go back besides Gardens, XI was in control of at least first. On Sherby, they on Sherby they went in 2-3-4. They got the 2-3-4 boxes. Let or let SC get a lot of the bottom spot boxes. Xander falls off. And then somehow out of that start, they got into like top three and just ran it for three laps. Which is insane. Then on DDR. They got in the top three, even with that very close pack going to the lap three, they were able to keep that somehow. Literally every race, they were at least in first, except for Koopa Cape, which was race one um, for you know the first lap, but then they just used an early shot, got in the first anyways. I don't even know what SE does differently. Uh, it seems like they needed some blue shells or something. They just needed some frontal presence because even the races where they weren't in the front and they pulled shock they were getting good races out of it like gold mine and maple treeway they somehow managed to salvage both those races even though it seemed like xi was just breaking away in top two or whatnot so maybe they just needed a couple more shocks in order to interrupt those huge races that xi started to get they started getting those big top threes but i think at the end of the day they just needed to interrupt those top spots more early on because they were struggling and if this trend continues where XI just controls first and top two or top three every race. There's just no way that you're beating them. So we'll see if SC can make the adjustment moving on to match two. And starting off, match two, we got the BC3 pick. Revan just jumps on Ultra. Just gets bumped, though. So cut's going to be open. Faisal goes around, maybe put a banana or something on it. Looks like he does because somebody spins out while taking cut. And then Sean just fails it. So Faisal, who went around, keeps first. Xander comes up in either third or second there. Edison actually bumps him off. Still 1-3 for XI, and Edison gets owned into the wall. 
It's top two, little target pal, not gonna hurt too much. They keep the top two going into cut. Faisal's gonna go for ultra. Fox gonna go for cut with the shroom. Uncontested. Of course, they both make it. Cut is gonna be open. They keep their top two going into lap three. That fib, a little bit late, could be open. Kinda hard to tell sometimes. But Edison looks like he unblocks anyways, trying to let their teammates take cut. But it's an XI shock hitting them all on the shortcut, so unless they resize, take Shroomless, or dodge in a Mega or something, they're not going to be able to get up there. So it's top two, only 6-8 though, so nothing crazy. Next I guess their Goldmine track pick, race two again. Looks like they keep top two again, and they get the Aether. Xander Shrooms up, or Barney Shrooms up. They both Shroomed up. They both must have got good boxes, one at the uh, zipper and one at the first set. So they both got Goldens or Trip Shrooms or something. It's top three for XI. Revise has a TC, but he gets back right in there, almost connected. He was making his way up there, even on the boost pad section. He's getting pretty close. Barney puts a nice little Nana tight. And they're breaking away in top two, but Mac uses Shock. Looks like he is in 10. They're just going to TS second there. And dodge at least one person who's going to be able to get pretty close to Barney. He's coming up on him, and he does make Barney spin out. So as he gets into first, Faisal gets shroomed off. And XI is 2 3 4, but SE's taking over top two, and it's a dangerous position to be in because Xander has a TC. He can get some double backs going. XI really needs some type of blue shell or something here in order to do anything. Pow block. Mac is blocking the detach, I guess. <laughs> XI uses a last second shock. Xander dodges last second again. Kind of like that Gardens race. And he stars revise off, so instead of top three, it's only top two. Edison was a lap behind. He could have been holding blue. I don't know. But Sean and Revan hold it down after that uh, lap two shock. And they hold it down again here early on on Delfino Square. Hit one guy out. And being in top two is a little bit awkward. You can do some double backspin, but it's a little bit tight on the dock section. Back Nana doesn't connect. And Fox pulls a shroom, but is already committed to the dock, doesn't get another item box. Could have easily passed them up, at least gotten into second there. But Faisal takes double, and it's all SE in the front. XI is bottom three, one of them had gotten back bombs early on, and Fox gets back bombed now. So they're actually bottom four, and Revise has triple reds just sitting in the middle of the track. Unfortunately doesn't have one connect, which would have been crucial to Red Fox here, because he's gonna be able to take golden cut, get into first, back is off, so no shock. And Jazz looks like he's going to be able to overtake him. Hop dodges. Little cheeky hop dodge. Might be able to backspam somebody. Fox keeps first all the way into lap three. We get one XI member coming out of cut. So it's one three, but bottom two for XI. So he's pretty even races so far. Uba Cape's out next. No green shell this time. So no Shroomba. Fox sees a bunch of SE tags behind him. Just backs a Nana tight. Kind of a weird spot. Never really seen that back spam spot before but it's right in his face so he can't avoid it. Faisal took Shroomba but had a red. Does get the red connect on Edison. Looks like XI is in first after that golden cut. Xander made his way up there. Fox has a blooper. Useless. Holds it till last set. A chain. Hits the banana on Mander. It's all SE back here so Fox is trying to hog out those 8th place boxes and he stays in the back for majority of this race. We're skipping to lap 3 now. Barney waits at first set as well, maybe thinking that XI or SE could have used shock there or something. Edison in Omega, gonna be able to take these cuts. It's an extremely tight pack. Fox Reds one SE member, trying to red revise, but it's maneuvering around. The red shot doesn't connect. And I think it might be Faisal in first because he was the last person we saw in first. Edison's also up there, but this pack is very tight. Fox gets a golden, he's getting golden in the tube, gain a little bit of time. And it's going to drop him before the last set. And Edison got hit in the tube, so it's top 2-4 for XI going into the cut section right here. And believe it or not, that is an XI shock. They actually call the TS on SE there. And Fox pulled a 4 the win TC. I mean, they dodged Sean. Insanely risky stuff. Don't know who called that on their team to, to make that type of play because... You, we, you could see Mac billing on the minimap, so it was definitely an XI shock. Really tough play, but it did work out for them because Fox was able to win off that for the win TC. Grumbles next. No Rock Hop takers. Faisal made respawn, but Fox keeps first after lap one, but then 
gets bomb sniped. And this is an extremely close grumble pack because no one had broken away on Rock Hop. And Blue Cell comes out, it's gonna make pack even tighter. A lot of SE in the back though, because Edison's in eighth. Basil gets past the TC. Fox just chains this. Kind of unlucky to pull Star though. You really just want shrooms with a pack this tight. A little bit of craziness on cut. It looks like Xander gets bombed. Revise makes it, so he's gonna be gone in first a little bit. The guy who was behind Fox there ended up failing Rock, doesn't even get the respawn. Revise gets blued though, but he traps Barney, gets him in the explosion. Fox still has a star in second, so unless Revan has a shroom, pretty much guaranteed gonna win this. And he's gonna be able to put pressure on Revan even if he does have a shroom, which looks like he does take cut. It's gonna be very close ending here. You would think that Revan would be in front of him, but Fox actually just respawns before him and gets first. I don't know how that happened. Um, he must have just... I, I honestly don't know. Maybe Revan just played it very safe at the end uh, before cut and went wide, but... XI ends up getting top two out of it, last second shock from them, but they get bottom two as well, so another pretty even race. SE picks RBC, looking to get those drafts. Unfortunately for Fox, we got no box. Revise probably gets a lag box on his screen. Fox gets golden though, and he doesn't golden away from Revan for some reason, so he just gets mega He's stuck in the back for a majority of that race, going into lap two. Finally, golden's up again. XI is 2-3-4 after Sean is forced into that fib. Edison's holding down first. Looks like he just backspam Xander. And unless they pull blue or get a nice little target pow off, not going to be able to really do anything. He's just going to keep backspamming his life. XI is 2-3-4-5 though. Oh, well, Barney got megged by his teammate. SE is mounting a comeback on these mid spots. They're shrimming up and they're really going to need to do something to the 2-3 spots in order to get a huge race. Barney and Fox are kind of dead in the back, not pulling great items. Revise gets redded from 8th, it's kind of depressing. The shock finally comes out, lap 3, and it TS is Xander, so SE did find a way to weed out those 2-3 spots, and they end up getting top 2-4 off of it. So, big race for SE. And after 7 races, they are only down 18, or 17, I guess. But that was a huge race for them to make a little bit of a comeback. Kind of a similar predicament as before, down around 20 at the half. Sherbet Lane gets picked again. This time, SE is in a lot of these top spots. I think Barney might be in first, though, so they're going to need a blue or something, but Faisal, Fox, and Xander are all back here. Edison shrooms up. Target Pow comes out. Yeah, on those 2 3 4 spots. Doesn't really do that much, though. Kind of Target Pow's Faisal, actually. Fox has a star in fifth, holds it till first set lap three. Gonna be able to catch up a lot to the two, three, four spots actually. Almost hits one, but he spins out on, on a banana. Gets triple reds, insane pull to guard off these triple greens. And he might even put some pressure on Sean if one of his greens end up disappearing. He's taking some kind of wonky lines. Shock red, it looks like that's an SE shock and uh, maybe Fox predicted it or maybe he just got kind of lucky throwing the reds up anyway. But Edison dodges in Bill, gonna comfortably be able to get in the second. Except he goes wide for the box and then bails at the last second and Revan throws a red shell at him. He literally gets redded by his own teammate. I think he wanted to go for a box, decided against it, and he ended up getting passed and getting redded for it. So I mean, he would have only gotten second out of it, but it's a top two, six, eight for XI. Another early shroom pull on RMC for Fox, but this time he, he gets hit. Got two greens thrown at him before, and he actually gets hit in the cut. Pretty funny. But he's still top three for XI. After cut, lap two, revised shrooms up. Luckily for him, he passes Fa or yeah, he passes Faisal, so he doesn't get redded. But Faisal throws a fib up, doesn't connect. Fox again has another mushroom. Gonna put in some work, except he fails a little bit. Clip the grass. Revised is redded, though, so they do take over in top two. Pack is pretty close. Got some people shrooming up. Throws a fib in the cut. Not gonna do that much. Person coming out of cut is Sean, and he chained Mega into Trip Red, so he's actually able to red Fox out of cut. Very tight pack, has a bomb, could do some damage with this. Bombs Edison, almost hits his own teammate. But SE, it looks like they're top two. Faisal and uh, Barney are in 3-4 right now, 3-4-5. But a last second, last second Xander dodge, once again, thwarts the plans of SE, insane. 
This happened three times now, and he gets first off of it, so still nothing crazy, but at this point, XI's breaking away a little bit, inch by inch, just making that comeback so much harder for SE. Barney gets got a TC, he's going to be dead in the water here. A lot of XI in the front, looks like they're top two or one three after the cut section, and Fox is going to be able to shroom into fourth. And he gets passed up a little bit, going to lap two. Blue Shell gets thrown. Going to hit somebody on XI, but they are still in top two. Unless these SE guys in the mid-pack spot have triple shrooms or a golden somehow. Xander is still going to be able to keep first, yeah. And Fox gets hit pretty far behind everybody, so he stays in the back for the rest of that race. Gets a star. Edison's in a mega and no shot coming out, so I'm assuming SE doesn't have it. But XI, it looks like they also don't have it because no shock on their end. And you know, they're only getting those mid-pack spots. They do get first, so it's one, four, five, six, which honestly is good enough for them. With two races left, they are up 28, so they don't really need huge races right now. They just need to hold off SE and make sure they don't get big races themselves. They get their DK Mountain track pick. Fox gets a nice golden pull as long as he can stay close to this top pack he's gonna be able to golden up on the bridge but se gets in the top three revise megas him so they're making a play and making a push to keep those top spots fox is stuck in the back for a little bit going into lap two and he's bumped off cut so fox is stuck in the back and it's top three five for se we don't really get a good pov of what was happening up there but as you saw they got into top three and they held those top three spots good for them Revise able to get fifth off of this. So with one race left, XI is only up three points. It's dead even going into the final Moo Moo Meadows race. And unfortunately, Fox is hard bagging for one of the Aethers along with Revise. So he isn't up in the front with the action, but he's pretty much stuck in the back actually up until lap three. Edison gets TC'd. We see, I think both baggers shrooming through the pack. And it's a lot of SE in the mid pack spots. They only need a little bit of a winning race. Barney's in the mid-pack, Chains of Shroom, Sean spinning out, back bomb, and it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 6 for XI, which means that is enough for them to clinch it out, and they take home the dub, their third GSC Division I championship win in a row, taking it over SE. They almost made the upset on that match, too. Man, they made a pretty good comeback, too. Came down to the final race, almost dead even, and we really saw no major hiccups on both teams. There weren't any major mistakes, I feel like. There were probably some minor mistakes like Edison not keeping second on Sherby that were happening on both ends that we weren't really seeing. And whoever was going to make less of those minor mistakes was going to win this war just with how close it was. I wish it came down to a game three, but damn, that, that match two was down to the wire. Very good one. And unfortunately, SE unable to clinch it out. This is the fourth time they made it to finals and not won. This is XI's three-peat back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back division champs. Season was a lot of fun. Of course, I got to play in it, so I had fun. But just from a spectator point of view, it really wasn't clear who was going to make playoffs except for XI because even though 2S was up for a lot of it, it came down to the wire for them and then... The other two spots was a toss-up between a couple of teams. A little bit disappointing to see KG and Daisy go out that hard. They really just weren't in competition at all, so they ended up forfeiting. And then, of course, Heaven getting their players banned kind of spoiled things too. But it was still pretty close, and the matches that we did get for the semis and the finals were pretty good. I feel like they were matchups that we haven't really seen in the past as well. IF versus SE, we've only seen in... Uh, the regular season, no playoff matches, and then 2S is a new team that we have not really seen before as well. And then, like I said, the XISC matchup, we hadn't seen in playoffs either. So, got a lot of unique matchups. However, we all know, with XI having the 3P, we all know what we really want. We, we need a certain team to join back D1, stop the reign of terror, at least give them some competition for that top, top level. Hopefully, JX makes a return. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my coverage of the Grand Star Cup. GSC Division 1. I'm going to have uh, a couple links in the description for Fox's channel, his YouTube. 
I'm sure most people are subscribed to him, but if you're not, he will probably upload the finals with Call on his channel. I don't think he has it up there yet, but he definitely will in the future. And then also link a lot of the Twitches that I've used because I kind of forgot about doing that in the other videos, but I'll have like Asmax Snow, um, Revan's Twitch, and whoever else that I was using primarily in the description. Thank you all for watching. Got some good feedback on this. Also just hit 10k subs, so that's dope. I don't have any type of special or anything. Really just gonna keep making shorts. Get that get those shorts views popping as they do. Don't think I can make this type of recap video in the future. They just took way too long to make. The videos are too long in my opinion. So unless I'm able to chop it up even more and condense it, I could do that for a weekly thing. Or what I'll probably end up doing is just the uh, something like I did for when LSU won the D2. Um, if I'm interested enough and I feel like there's a good enough storyline and there's an interesting enough storyline for you know whoever wins the uh, the D1 and for what happens in D1. But yeah, maybe, I don't know. That's not for uh, the next couple months anyway. That's not for a long time. But yeah, that's all from me, guys. Thank you all for watching again, and I'll see you later. Peace.